Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan With Elise and today we are doing some memory keeping. I'm really excited about the project that I'm going to create today. So I have my Lean Pearl K100 portable photo printer that you've seen on my channel before and I've been using it to easily print out photos for memory planning. So I have, I'll drop something, I have the app pulled up here on my iPad. Um, just so that I can use my phone to film, of course, and I'm going to turn this on. I can see that it's on with the indicator light and it's queuing. And then I'm just going to click connect. I already did the sync with the Bluetooth on my iPad. So I have four photos that I'm going to print here. And while, whoops, and while they're printing, I'm just going to select them and let them go. So while they're printing, I'm going to talk a little bit about this product and how I'm using it um, in general and today. So in general, I've been using it for memory planning so or memory keeping. So I have some photos here that I printed out from family vacation and then some other ones. This is not printed through this. This prints more of these size photos, I think two by three. So you can hear it. It's going to start to go. What I like about it is that it's small, it's easy, it doesn't take up too much space in my apartment, which is key for me because I feel like I have so many things that take up so much space. And also that it's inkless. So these packs of paper are everything that you need with the printer to print. I think that sometimes with photo printers and ones that I've tried in the past, it's like you need the paper, you need the refills, you need the ink refills. And not only does it take up a lot of space, but it gets pricey and it's like, if you don't have the paper, but you have the ink, you can't print and you have to order it. So this is much easier and they are sticky back pages as well. So I'll show you that shortly. So there's the one that probably took a bit, about a minute, maybe under a minute to print and it's just going to continue. Um, this is also compatible with multiple devices, which is really nice. It's great that I can use both my iPad and oh, here's, here's a picture I printed. There's Amelia. <laughs> and so it's really convenient for putting it in your planner or scrapbook or card making or anything that you want to do, just printing out a photo to put on the fridge. So while this is going, I'm going to talk a little bit about the project that I decided to make. So I have printed out um, a bunch of photos from January through October. And now we're printing out two for November and two for December. And I have this calendar from Kelva Plan. The base of it is what you heard just drop <laughs> before and now. Um, it knew I was talking about it. And I loved this calendar for 2022. It was great to be on my desk, but I don't want it to necessarily go to waste. So what I'm going to do is turn each page over and use that as the memory keeping. So we're gonna start with January here. And while these are printing, I am going to pull out two photos from January. And then I also have a dated basic sticker book, volume two. And we are going to grab the January sticker. So let me take my tweezers out and you can see that coming through. And it holds, I believe, 25 sheets in each round. That could be wrong. I'd have to double check that. But what's nice is that you don't have to like refill it every time you want to print a photo. You can kind of queue it up like I did there. So there we have January. And I'm going to pull up my first January photo. This was, and this is a sticker. It might take me a sec. This was when my mom was recognized in her school district for 28 years, I think, of um, teaching. And then I have my second January photo, which was when I took my nephew out for hibachi. I think it was the first time he had ever had hibachi, which was really fun. He loved it. And I had a great time with him too. Now I'm going to take a stencil and my Zebra Sarasa Dry. And then I'm going to line this a little bit over the photo and use this stencil. You could really use any stencil, but I chose this one because 
the lines are thick enough, like there's enough space between them to um, write and journal about or journal with. Okay. So there we go. We have some lines there. And then let's move over here too and do the same thing. Boom, our four photos are printed. So it's something that you can do while doing anything else, letting them print in the background there. Hopefully it wasn't too loud while I was talking, but I don't think it is. Those are a little crooked, we're okay. And then I also have some washi tape here. So I thought just to kind of add to it a little bit, just to add some washi to go along with the blue. You could also use a color that goes more along with the photos that you're using. And then we can even like kind of put a little piece down here to look like it's sort of taped down. But for me, memory planning needs to be easy or I'm not going to do it. That's the key for me. If it's not quick and simple, then it's not likely that I'm going to follow through with it. So that's kind of where it stands for me. So I'm going to, we'll speed this up. I'll write in here and then um, we will, I'm going to show you what I plan on doing with these as a whole. Okay, I'm actually going to pause the speeding up because what you may have seen was that we had a little smudging. So because this paper is a little bit glossy, um, it's going to take a minute for it to dry. So hmm, I think that maybe what we'll do is I'll kind of put this because that smudging seemed to happen there. Or I probably need a permanent marker for this. So let me see if I can locate one. Okay, I couldn't find a permanent marker. This pen is a quick dry. It's a Zebra Sarasa dry, but um, it probably just needs a second to set before I just dive in. So I was going to memory keep with that, but I think we're gonna pause on it because now I'm just gonna sort of show you the rest of my plan. So I have November and November, December and December. I wanna like keep these photos in order and I'll show you those shortly. So my thought was, that I would take my planner punch and this is something to be mindful too that I that's what if you're going to be punching these is punch right down here so being mindful this one didn't really get impacted but being mindful of the right side because you don't want to punch too much into a photo so this is eight discs worth of punches, which is what my little memory planner here is. And look, then I can just kind of put it right through there. So let's also do February. So we have the February. I think what I'll do this time is punch it immediately. So I know what not to do or what areas to not get into. And for February, we have these two photos. Let's grab the February sticker. And I also want to note that I have a coupon code in the description of this video, which will save you $12 off of the printer with a pack of paper as well. And it is an affiliate link, which means that if you purchase from it, I do earn a commission, um, but it is a great way to support a creator and also you get a discount too. So it's kind of a win-win. All right, so I have two photos here. This one is... Um, a bouquet of flowers says, happy Valentine's Day. I love you, Aunt Elise, which is what my niece and nephew call me. Actually, I think this says Aunt Elise. Yeah, <laughs> um, I had babysat them on Valentine's Day so my brother and sister-in-law could go out to dinner. And it was just really, really sweet for them to get me flowers. So, or sweet of uh, my brother and sister-in-law to <laughs> get me flowers from the kids. And then the second photo, I think more because of my nails, I tend to, takes me a second to get this off. Let's try another corner. There we go. And the second photo is when I went to Texas for Kelova Plans baby shower with mom and a girl with plans. And there we were in the nursery taking a photo. I think that was right before the shower. So then again, I want to grab my stencil and the pen, and this time, just gonna be mindful. 
of um, not smudging it. So I'm going to go a little bit shorter with the lines because some of these don't need a ton of explanation. Just like a little bit of journaling can often be enough. You could even just do a little box sticker with the date. It doesn't need a ton of explanation, certain things, right? Because I see a photo and I know when it is, even if you don't, when I'm looking at it in my planner, I know. So it wasn't very easy to choose only two photos from each month this year. Some months it was easy, but others, not so much. As you'll see when we, we continue. So we're going to keep those to dry and then I will just pop that right in here. And I might bring in some washi for this as well. So trying to decide, do we just go through and continue each month here? So the March, I will say with this punch, you just want to be careful not to put more than one in at a time. It's really not made for heavy duty punching. Um, but let's take March in here and bring this one in. And this kind of sets it up for me because once I have the photos printed and the photos in, it will be easy just to do the journaling. So March, we have two. We have Go Wild. It was very hard to choose just one photo from Go Wild because I think there were thousands. But I chose a big group photo, which was at the Chrissy Ann Designs confetti carpet. And then I have my first photo with Ethan, who is my best friend's baby that was born in March. So I'm kind of going chronological order in terms of what happened first. So Go Wild was early March and Ethan was born mid-March. And it's crazy to think that we are now planning his second birthday party. So we'll pop these in. Look how cute this is looking. I'm really excited to write in them. I'm not going to do the lines for all these right now because I want to give them time to dry. But it's looking really cute and it's so easy to just do two photos a month. It doesn't have to be an overwhelming thing. So now we are going to go to April. And I don't know if like most of April was not much happened. I did struggle finding some photos for April. So this does print. You can crop them when you're printing. But um, this was a square photo. And you'll see here kind of how it printed with a little bit of extra space. And this was a photo, the first photo I took in the room I'm sitting in right now. I'm sitting like right over here of my office, which I did not expect to move in 20. I did not expect to move in April of 2022. I expected to move in December because that's when my lease ended. But if you've been around for a little bit, I transferred my lease because I forgot to punch this because I stayed on the same property. I just moved to a different apartment. Okay, we did not, we did not cut this one. All right, so popping those in and then can always go back and journal in them. Now we have May, let's punch it before I forget. And in May, we'll grab that sticker. Put that right there. Oops little messy. And in May, this is my boss. Um, I do work a full-time job. I've worked there for six years and he turned 40 in May. So had a birthday party and I hadn't seen him in so long before that because we closed down our physical offices in 2019, actually before the pandemic. So, um, I see him, you know, regularly on Zoom and things like that, but just not in person as much anymore. And then we had one of my other best friends, Carly, her 35th surprise birthday party. So those are May. And that was like early May and then late May. So not all of them are within the same <laughs> week like I did in April. Oh, wait, I don't think... I talked about this photo. This photo is in my old bedroom. My nephew was sitting on my suitcase to try to make it close. And it was so just fun and sweet because he was helping and it was really special. All right, now let's go to June. And then in June, we have 
my mom's retirement dinner because she retired from being a teacher. And this was her like district retirement dinner. And it's very convenient that these are sticky back just because I don't have to worry about using adhesive or anything like that. Even if it takes me a second to <laughs> peel them off. And I really think it's just because my nails are kind of thick. Then we have Carly again, and this was at her gender reveal. So that was fun because we found out that baby was a girl who was born early December. So it's been a year of babies for people in my life having babies. It hasn't been a year of babies for me, but people in my life having babies. And then as we will see in July, I feel like I can move this sticker book over because I keep turning. All right. So July, I went to, this one I cut off a little bit, but I went to Texas again to meet Amelia, Caliba Plan's daughter, and celebrate 4th of July. And we also celebrated our birthdays because Heather and I are born the same year, but she is six days older than I am. So I'm still the young one, <laughs> but that was a fun trip. And then my birthday is in July. So this was a photo that I took with my niece and nephew at family barbecue to celebrate my birthday. My nephew's birthday is also in July, but again, only two photos to choose because of how I want to do this. You could easily, one, two, three, you could easily put six photos on a page this size, but just because I want to journal with it, I needed a little bit less. Okay. August was all about vacation. So for August, we have this photo of my mom and my niece and I um, in Newport, Rhode Island. And we went to Newport on a rainy day. We stayed in Narragansett, Rhode Island on vacation, but we were all wearing blue and white stripes, which was fun. And then we have this photo, which you've probably seen before on my channel, but this was the family photo shoot that we did. We hired a, photo a local photographer to come and take family portraits because we never do that. And it was really special. All right, September. Take off this sticker. We are nearing the end. So again, what I wanna stress in terms of what I like about this printer is it makes it easy for me just to like, oh, I love that photo. I wanna take it. I, I wanna print it out and like throw it in my planner because that's the best way that I'm going to stay consistent with memory keeping, not like a whole big setup that I have to take out. I really just need to grab this, make sure it's charged and grab some paper and we are set. It all fits in my hand. It's not a whole big system. I don't have to plug anything in besides charging it. And it just makes it really simple and convenient. So now we have September photos. So this is when I went to a town carnival with my niece and we rode a roller coaster and I was very scared. And then we have a food and wine festival with my friends. Okay, now let's go to October. And punch this one and take the sticker. And you could also put this on discs. You could punch the top and have it kind of be like a flip calendar. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use this or you can pop these right into your planner and do memory keeping just like that. It doesn't have to be a separate page. So we'll peel this up. And this was with my niece and nephew at a family Hanukkah party in October because we did what we called Hanukkah harvest, which was just my family all being able to get together. Because in December, it's really hard between the weather and travel and holiday plans and everything like that. So my big extended family did a big Hanukkah party in October, which was so great and amazing to kind of have everybody together, multiple generations and family we don't often see. Then we have Halloween with Mr. Ethan. It's crazy to look at the March photo when he was born and then just in October and how much changes, how quickly time goes by. 
All right, now we're going to November and let me just punch December while I have it here too. Just makes it easy peasy. Okay, now November was a busy month. I feel like the last few months have been busy and I'm looking forward to a little bit of quiet in January. So first up in November, I have a photo with my mom when we went to Florida for the SGS planner conference that I spoke at. And then I have a photo with my mom and my aunt on Thanksgiving. So a lot of family in November. And then finally, December, we are back to babies because you saw that gender reveal photo earlier in the year. And then we had the meeting of baby Sophie. This is Sophie. She's so tiny and sweet. And an auntie shirt that they had given me that I wore to meet her. So it was really special. And Sophie finishes the year of friends having babies. I'm sure it'll happen another year. This was just <laughs> a big one planner friends, friends from, I was gonna say friends in real life, but they are real life friends, but friends that I grew up with. So it was a special one. And then we are back to little Mr. Ethan. I went to their house on Christmas and we did Hanukkah and Christmas together. So there we go. There are my 12 months that are ready for me to just pop in front of my TV, add the stencils, journal, add a little bit of washi and stickers as I want to and be able to just flip back on this and look at it as a really special year. And then I'm just gonna close this up and it fits perfectly in this little A5 uh, or half letter notebook that I have here. So I love it and I'm really excited to continue to use the portable photo printer as a way to keep track of these memories and share them with you. So as a reminder, you can shop uh, using the link in the description and a coupon code as well for you that'll give you $12 off. So thanks so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe. Happy, happy new year, and I will see you next time.